Hello and welcome to another episode of Red Shark News. This is an overview of DaVinci Resolve 16. For those of you who are following along at home, DaVinci Resolve 16 can be downloaded for free. There is an extremely capable free version that can be found over at blackmagicdesign.com. The free version gives you editing in 4K UHD, some excellent plugins, and all the essential tools you need to start making videos. So. In the very rare moments when I'm not working, I play StarCraft II. I'm not great, but um, I'm definitely an enthusiast. I follow uh, competitive matches on YouTube, and I actually watch I watch esports broadcasts as well. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do an esports kind of highlight reel using the smart overwrite feature that's found in the new cut page in Resolve 16. So what I've got here is um, just a standard uh, sort of spectator view of a typical StarCraft match. So the spectator view is always um, at, a, at a wide angle and it's just kind of a general overview of what's going on. But I've got a separate angle here of close-ups which just gives you a bit more of a uh, character animation, a bit more detail. Sometimes spectators are on the wide angle too often, or sometimes they're in the close up and then they miss something. There's this really cool new feature called Smart Overwrite that kind of gives us the best of both worlds. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I've got my first clip here. It's just called StarCraft II Game. Uh, I am going to drag and drop it from my bin into my timeline. It's a very short match, it's 10 minutes long, TVP, and uh, I I got crushed by the AI. I'm not going to lie, I didn't do well on this one. So I've got my spectator view, my wide angle, and I'm just going to open up my close-ups angles. And what I could do is I could sync these clips as multicam events and then enter multicam mode and manually cut between the two different camera angles, but I know uh, that's that's too many mouse clicks for what I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to do here is just show the heavy hitters, um, just a couple of punch-ins, and that's it. And I know exactly where they are. I can quickly scrub my footage here. I'm just going to start even with just this approach of the SCV, going to the uh, Protoss base. That's great. I've made a selection. To start a selection, press I on the keyboard, and to end a selection, press O on the keyboard for in and out. We talked about that in the previous video. I've got a range here of this SCV approach. To cut this footage of the close-up into the timeline, if I use this new tool here, Source Overwrite, it will automatically be cut in and in sync. And how do I know that they're in sync? Well, if you take a look in the bottom left, we've got a global clock running here. 38 seconds, 39, and we cut over. So by going to my close-ups angle, I can just scrub through, find the moments that I want. Just grab the zealot grabbing my scout here. That, hit source overwrite, watch it back. There we go. Pretty uneventful match overall, but let's find something with just a bit more going on. I walk right into an ambush here. I didn't know it, but my opponent had all of his units just waiting for me. Press I on the keyboard to mark an endpoint. Playing. I'm gonna press O to mark an out point and hit source overwrite. How this is working is that uh, Resolve is comparing source time code between my two different video sources. So you can really see the possibilities here really quickly if you're doing things like any kind of live performance, sports, cooking shows, concerts, music videos, uh, in this case, eSports and StarCraft, anywhere where you have multiple angles, lots of footage, and you just really need to quickly assemble your sequence, uh, using the new source overwrite feature in the cut page is a great tool for that.